What's up, stackers? This is Silver Slayer, and welcome to your daily silver stacking video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Got a couple announcements before we jump into this video. First and foremost, I'm doing a huge silver giveaway. If you want a chance to get silver shipped straight to your front doorstep, just click subscribe. The entry video is in the description or the pinned comment. May the luckiest stacker win. I'm also thinking about I'm considering doing auctions on my channel once every two, three, four months or whatever. I will uh, I'll let you guys bid on some of the silver that I have to offer. Every time I show silver or my stack on my channel, people are trying to buy a certain coin that they like. And I think this would be a great way to uh, to engage with you all. I mean, I posted a poll and the overwhelming majority, like 75 percent of people said yes that they would want this. Now, I wouldn't let people get ripped off because I'm sure some people would start bidding and it would be a bidding war. And I don't I don't want that. So I'll put like a buy it now price just to put a, a, a limit so nobody overpays. But I'll also let you bid so you could hopefully get it for cheaper. But yeah, let me know. Would you like that? I think it's it would be pretty fun. I don't want to do it too often though. Um, you know, I'll just do it every once in a while. But yeah, so... I hate to say this, but it, it, most people lose money stacking silver. And honestly, with any investment, most people lose money. And we're going to talk about why this happens, specifically in the world of precious metals, so you can avoid this. Because I think it is easily avoidable. I just don't think people um, prepare enough or understand what they're getting into. For example... Cryptocurrency is the easiest example, but we won't we won't do that. We'll, we'll talk about uh, last year, the Wall Street silver uh, raid. That's probably the time or the situation most recently that people really uh, lost a lot of money investing into silver. So thirty dollars silver was early 2021 from the Wall Street silver movement, right? Everybody was talking about it. Your friends, your family, you know, your, your your neighbor, the person that's never invested a single dollar in their entire life, all trying to get silver. When that happens, that is the worst time to buy. When most people are buying, you should be selling. And when most people are selling, you should be buying. Do the opposite of what the majority does. That's basically how you make money investing into anything, right? Just like Bitcoin, when everyone was talking about it, when Coinbase was the number one downloaded app, Bitcoin was like $60,000. That's the worst time to buy. Best time to buy is when nobody's talking about it because that's when the price is low. Supposed to be buy low, sell high. Most people buy high, hope it goes higher. So, this is what a lot. This is what happened to a lot of people. They bought at thirty dollars because everyone was talking about it, but then the price corrected back down to around twenty-five, even low as twenty dollars, and it's been sitting there. So people gave up hope, saying, "Oh, well, it didn't work. I made a mistake." They they give up and they sell themselves short. So they bought at 30 and they're probably selling around 20, uh, $25. This is why you don't just jump on a hype train. This is why I make so many videos explaining the true value of silver. This is why I make so many videos telling you guys when the price is low, not to sell, but it's actually a perfect entry point. Buy low, sell high. Don't buy high. Just pray it goes hyper. That uh, higher. That's not. That's not investing. That's gambling. Investors make strategic decisions based off information. Given the information, we know that silver is undervalued at a specific time. So we get in at that time, knowing that the opportunity or the the um, you know the chance of it rising or or correcting back upwards is a lot higher. Investors make strategic decisions. Gamblers throw money at the wall, hope it sticks, right? We don't gamble. It's called a silver stacking strategy because we're strategizing. And when we talk about silver's true intrinsical value, that means that we understand the true value. So if the price goes down to 
10 dollars $15, we don't care because we know what silver's true value is. If you don't understand silver's true value and you see it down at 10 dollars $15, you're going to freak out, which is going to take me to my next point, which is emotional attachment into the markets. And this also could apply to any investment. I mean, you could apply this entire video to any investment, just replace silver with stocks or crypto or whatever it is. So when you're emotionally attached, this is what causes impulse buying, panic selling, fear, worrying, uncertainty, doubt, right? Because you want the price to do something so bad, but it's out of your control. And when it's not doing what you want, you act irrationally, right? Irrational or rational decision making goes out the window. So that's why I always tell people sometimes step back, right? Take a step back and just let things kind of play out. Maybe don't check the prices every single day. What's the point of checking the prices every day if you're not making any type of, of uh, choice or any type of purchasing or selling that day? Um, this is something that I see a lot of people do is, uh, is they will become emotionally attached. And I do get it. Silver stacking is very addicting. Um, but at the end of the day, we're not planning on selling for 10, 15, 20 years. So why would we want the price to go higher? We want the price to stay low so we can buy more silver, lowering our dollar per ounce average. So then when we do sell, we can make more profit, right? I mean, that's, that's what it boils down to at the end of the day. Why need that price validation? And that's what it is. You need confirmation or validation that the price can go higher. So when you see it going higher, you get that confirmation that, yes, silver can. But we already know it can. Barely 10 years ago, silver was $50. Just 10 years ago. So we know it can, get, we know it can do that. We know it will, again. But if you're someone that's, that's worried or doesn't have faith in silver, you're going to end up panic selling, right? Fear, uncertainty, doubt, FUD. That's what it's called is FUD. So that's what I try to, to do on my channel is let people know it's okay. You know, the, the price is going, there, there's going to be a roller coaster ride, especially with silver, since silver is so volatile. Hits higher highs and lower lows. It's like gold on steroids, right? Steroids make you look big, but there's also terrible side effects. If gold's going to rise 10%, silver's going to rise 15%. But if gold's going to drop 10%, silver's going to drop 15%. So you got to remember silver's true value. True value. And that could even apply to the dollar. You also have to understand the dollar's true value. Because if you truly understand the dollar's true value, then you could look at $25 and compare an ounce of silver to that and say there's no way that 25 worth, worthless dollar bills that's lost 98% of its original purchasing power is equal to an ounce of silver. You could look at a $100 bill and look at an ounce of silver and say there's no way that $100, knowing what the dollar's purchasing power is worth nowadays, also given inflation and where the dollar's headed, will ever be worth an ounce of silver again. You could look at money itself, fiat currency itself, look at silver and say, I don't care what price silver is worth. At the end of the day, me having silver compared to me leaving it in my bank account where my cash is literally burning away is the only option left. It's the only alternative. There is no solution. The only alternative is precious metal. And until people really understand that, I think they're at risk of panic selling. You know, once you truly get it, then you get it. But if you're not there, you're going to be hesitant. You're going to be on the fence. You're going to be second guessing yourself, especially since silver and precious metals in general, they move pretty slow. It's, a, it's definitely a turtle 
a t tortoise and the hare type of investment. You know, it's not a get rich quick scheme. And that's another reason why I think a lot of people um, do end up selling is because they get into it for the wrong reasons. They don't understand how the markets work. They think they're just going to get in and with five ye within five years, they're going to cash out and become millionaires or make tons of money. It's not even about that. It's more of a hedge against inflation and a preservation of wealth. Yes, you can make money quicker if you want to be a quick flipper, invest in the riskier stuff. But most of us are just putting our money in a time capsule, which is precious metals. Another way, another way that people make bad decisions is the choices of silver they're buying and how they're going about selling. For example, before I ever even buy that coin on Atmex or Bullion Max, wherever I go, I think about how I'll be able to sell that coin. Before I even buy it, I think about how I'll be able to sell it. That has saved me from making a lot of bad purchases. It's so easy to buy, but it's not so easy to sell. Selling is a whole different world. There's no wrong way to buy, but there's definitely wrong ways to sell. Even keeping your silver securely and safely is a huge, huge thing that I think a lot of people underestimate. Uh, putting your coins in capsules, using dehumidifiers if you're if you're leaving your silver or your safe in a high moisture area, uh, silica gel packs even in your safe, um, tarnish strips, wearing gloves, all of that stuff really does make a difference. Storage and security is very important. And a lot of people say, well, Silver Slayer, I don't want to spend money on capsules. I could be buying more silver with that. Capsules are like 30, 30 cents. I would rather pay 30 cents to ensure that coin stays in perfect condition rather than not pay that 30 cents and that coin lose several dollars, even, you know, 30, 40 dollars of, of money when the condition's ruined. It's like a 30 cent insurance policy. And yes, capsules can be expensive if you buy them from the wrong places like Atmex, but you can go to On Fire Guys, eBay page, um, or his actual site, uh, airtights.com, you can buy them in bulk, and they're very cheap. I'm talking 30, 30 cents. So that type of stuff, if you don't know it, can, it can definitely hurt your success. And I do also think that's probably why a lot of people lose money is because they're not educating themselves. You know, imagine, imagine someone that doesn't watch silver stacking channels on YouTube or someone that doesn't watch these types of videos. They just buy silver, sit on their couch at home, and, and just that, that's all they do, right? They don't educate. Imagine, okay, let, let's do it. Let's break it down like this. So there's two different silver stackers. One educates themselves on YouTube, plays it cool, calm, and collect, right? Very laid back. It doesn't get too stressed when the markets do something. But then the other guy, he, he thinks he knows it all. He's very antsy, very, very attached, uh, very close-minded. Which one of those stackers do you think is going to be more successful? The cool, calm, and collect guy. He is less prone to making uh, irrational decisions, panic selling, impulse buying. And that's also why sometimes even in your home life can affect your strategy. If you're having problems with your wife or work or something very stressful is going on, that can in, in turn affect how you're stacking because maybe, you know, you're mad, emotions are high right now, you're angry, you can't, you know, you're, you're thinking irrationally. And it's all about choices. Uh, so, I mean, the psychological aspect of investing is something that's extremely underlooked, uh, but I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, when it, at the end of the day, just use common sense. It's always good to educate yourself. Step back. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I think just a lot of times people get into something off of hype and they realize they're way, they're way too deep over their head and it just wasn't for them. Even though precious metals is for everyone, a lot of people just, they have uh, bad habits spending money. They don't know how to manage money. They don't understand the value of a dollar and they don't understand the value of silver. That's what it boils down to at the end of the day. 
So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Uh, remember, I'm doing a silver giveaway if you want a chance to win some silver. Also, make sure you like the video. Let me know what you think about this. If you have any other tips for anyone, throw them in the comment section. Thanks for tuning in. This is Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.